dear friends today we are going to start to discuss a different fuel supply system for the esi engine <music> In the last few lectures, we already discussed about the basic fundamental introductory things about the internal combustion engines. We discussed the classification, types of engine, two-stroke, four-stroke, petrol engine, diesel engine, along with the different cycles of operation like auto cycle and diesel cycle. Okay, so now we understood how engine can work along with the different engine components. That is nothing but piston, cylinder, connecting rod, crankshaft, camshaft, wall mechanisms, rocker arm, injector system in the case of diesel engine, etc. etc. Okay, now also we understood in the case of four stroke engine, there are Four stroke of the piston that is suction, compression, expansion, and exhaust. And in the case of two stroke engine, there are only two stroke that is suction compression happen simultaneously, expansion and exhaust will happen simultaneously. We already thoroughly understood all these things in the last few lectures or few videos of this particular subject IC engines. Now Today, we are going to start to discuss a different fuel supply system for the ESI engine. So, as we know, ESI engine is nothing but the spark ignition engine that is a petrol or gasoline engine. Okay. So, whenever we are going to use a petrol as a fuel in the case of ESI engine, it has some special features. The SI engine consisting or rather consisting, uh, it required some specific system to supply the uh, petrol inside the engine cylinder that systems we are going to discuss. Okay. So, in this case, one of the very important system which is to be used the case of SI engine and that system is nothing but called as a carburetor system. Okay, so we are going to understand the carburetor system. So generally before going to understand the principle of a carburetor, we must have to discuss about what is the role or the function of a carburetor. If we can take the example of two wheeler, okay. In the case of two wheeler, uh, near about the engine, there is one more device like this one. Okay, please concentrate on the mouse indicator. Beside of engine, there is a one device which is just look like this one. Okay, I think many of you have observed this particular device or this component which is always situated near the engine. Sometimes it is above the engine cylinder or engine head. Sometimes it is just beside the engine. But such kind of a device is always present in the case of two-wheeler. And this device is called as a carburetor. Okay. So, this is the picture of actual carburetor which look like this one. And this is the constructional working conceptual diagram of this carburetor. We will talk on this in detail later on. Okay. Now, in this video, we are just going to discuss about what do you mean by the carburetor, its definition and its function. That's it. Okay, so this is the real carburetor and this is the construction details of the carburetor. So what do you mean by the carburetor? So as we know the petrol is also called as a gasoline which is one kind of a major fuel or we can say this is the fuel which we can use in the case of spark ignition engines or petrol engine. 
okay so if anyone uh, ask you one question to define the petrol then how we can define the petrol petrol or gasoline is nothing but a mixture of various hydrocarbons such as paraffins olefins naphthenes aromatics etc and the composition which depends upon the crude available and the method of refining used okay so this is called the petrol generally petrol or diesel are the product which we will get from the crude oil okay so initially petrol uh, we are not directly getting the petrol or diesel okay so there should be always some refineries refineries are there and through the refineries we have to get the petrol along with its properties so how we can say this fuel is a petrol then what is the speciality of that particular fuel so the mixture of various hydrocarbons like paraffins olefin naphthenes aromatics means in the mixture of a petrol these particular hydrocarbons like paraffins olefin naphthenes aromatics are always present and this composition is nothing but called as a petrol similarly this one the diesel has a another composition okay so because of this all hydrocarbons this fuel is called as a petrol or gasoline which is always used in the case of gas engine or a petrol engine okay so as we already discussed about in the case of gas engine during the process of suction air fuel mixture comes inside the engine cylinder okay so we know the air is fully available or freely available in the atmosphere and fuel is coming from the fuel tank okay so how that particular fuel and air mixes together and how that will be entering inside the engine cylinder during suction that is to be very important to understand okay so to understand this one we must have to read the next definition the process of carburation or only the carburation okay so what is the meaning of carburation so the process of formation of combustible air fuel mixture by mixing proper amount of fuel with air before admission to the engine cylinder is called the carburation or just process of carburation okay what i said the process of carburation is nothing but the formation of combustible mixture by mixing a proper amount of fuel with the air okay the combustible mixture means what mixture should be burn whenever the ignition taken place inside the engine cylinder that mixture should be burn and that mixture is nothing but called as a combustible mixture and how that particular combustible mixture may prepare that is nothing but by mixing a proper amount of fuel with a proper amount of air before admission to the engine cylinder that is very important means before suction stroke this this mixing should be done and that the process is nothing but called as a process of a carburation and the next one the device which does this job is known as the carburetor so my dear friends always remember carburetor is one kind of a device which is generally used to supply the proper amount of air and fuel combustible mixture to the engine cylinder during process of a suction so always if you see in the case of two wheeler we have to use this device and the name is the carburetor 
okay so always remember carburetor will supply the required amount of air and fuel mixture to the engine cylinder during suction stroke or during suction process okay so just we discuss the process of carburetion and the function or the definition of carburetor so hope you understood this all things clearly about the process of carburetor and what is the role or the function of carburetor so thank you so much for watching this video